Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can make these really cool looping, lighting up animations directly in PowerPoint. Let's jump straight into it. As usual, we'll start off with a blank presentation. So we'll go to home and choose blank presentation, then right click, layout and blank. I'm firstly going to set up a black background. To do that, I'll right click onto the background, choose format background, then solid fill black. Now we're going to add our shapes and you can add anything you want. I'm going to add a chevron. So I'll go to the drawing section, click the down arrow and from block arrows, I'm going to pick this arrow chevron. We can click anywhere, hold down shift and drag from the corner to size up. I'm going to make this a purple color, shape outline, no outline, then control D to duplicate. Put it where I want so it's aligned and the smart guides appear. Let go, then control D three more times. And now I have five chevrons. I'm just going to center them in the middle of the screen. So we'll select them all, control G to group, then go to align, center, align, middle. Now we can ungroup them, control shift G. And now we're ready to add the animation. So the first thing we want to add is a lighten animation. And we're just going to add the animations to one object first and then copy the animations to the remaining objects. So we'll click on this first one, go to animations. And I want to click this drop down. We want to add a lighten animation and this is in the emphasis section. So we'll click lighten and you'll see it preview. I also want to add a darken so I can make sure it's selected. Then go to add animation because we want to add another animation and then click darken. On a Mac, you can add an animation by simply going to the top bar and it will automatically add it. But on the Windows PC, we want to go to add animation and choose it from there. Now there's two animations. So if we go to animation pane, you can see the two animations in there. At the moment, when we run it, it will require a click to light up and a click to darken again. So I'm going to click on the second animation, which is the darken one and change it to happen after previous. And for the first one, I'm going to make it happen with previous. So now when we run it, it will automatically lighten and then darken. I'm also going to speed this up. So we'll click on the bottom one, hold down shift, click on the top one, and then set the duration to 0.1, which I think is a nice, fast, snappy speed for this animation. So it looks really quick there, but when they're all going across, I think it's about the right speed. So firstly, we'll copy the animation over to the other four chevrons. And to do that, we'll click on the object that's got the animation on this first one. Alt Shift C will copy the animation and then unclick on any object to paste the animation. So we'll paste it onto that one, that one, that one, and that one. Now when we run it, you'll see the lights go across really nicely and it's quite smooth. I'll just run it one more time. That's looking good. But now we want to add the special trick, which is how you can loop this animation as you want. Unfortunately, PowerPoint doesn't have any options at the moment where we can loop a selection, a certain number of animations. You can loop individual ones by simply double clicking on it, going to the timing, then choosing repeat. But in this example, there's all these animations and we want to loop a complete block of them. There is a clever way of doing it. So to do that, we'll go to insert, audio, record audio. Just click this, wait a couple of seconds and press OK. And that's all the audio we need. Effectively, we only need just over a second to loop this entire animation. I'm going to press escape because we were still in the animation painter copy option. And now I can click on this, drag it out of the way, then go to playback. And we want to select a few things here. I want to choose loop until stopped. So that will keep replaying the audio clip. Set the volume to mute, so you won't better hear it. I didn't record anything, but you might better hear some background ambience. So best to set it to mute. We're only using it to loop these visuals. We also want to hide during show, which will hide this icon that we don't need. And I want it to start automatically. And those should be all the settings we need there. I also want to trim the audio so it's about the right length. We can click trim audio for that. And you can either drag in this red handle to about a second. 
or you could type it in here. Then click OK. We now want to add a bookmark, which is what we'll use to trigger these animations. To do that, we can press play. We can move where it's played to. I want it right near the beginning. That'll be fine. And then we'll click add bookmark. So all we've done is added one single bookmark right near the beginning. And that's going to be the thing that triggers these animations. So if we have a look in the animation pane, we've now got the recorded sound and all these chevrons that are animating. We want to go to the very first animation, then click animations on the ribbon and choose trigger on bookmark one. Once we do that, you can see it moves down into here. So at the moment when the sound plays and it gets to the first bookmark, which is right at the beginning, it will light up this first arrow. But we also want it to do the rest. And to do that, we can click the first one, hold down shift and click the last one, the last arrow, not the recorded sound. We want that to be at the top. Then click and hold, and drag them all down and they'll all appear under the trigger. Now, when we run that, you'll see that they'll light up and they'll loop, which is a really cool effect. Now we've added the animation because of the way PowerPoint works, it's really simple to make variations on this. If we select all of these, we can change them, for example, to any color we want. For example, I'll just pick this orange, but we can also change the shape. So we can go to shape format, edit shape, change shape, and choose something like this plus. Then you can either size them down while they're selected by holding down control and shift, clicking the corner point and dragging in, or you can simply select one of them, hold down shift, drag this one to the right, for example, then click on this one, drag it to the left, select them all, and then go to shape format, align, distribute horizontally, and that will work well too. So you can see now it's really easy to make these variations. And as a bonus, I'll show you how you can quickly add in a background and pick a color from that to add the animations onto. So for this one, we'll go to shape format, edit shape, change shape, and pick circle hollow. We can make all of them smaller at the same time from the center by holding down control and shift, clicking on the circle and dragging it in. That looks good. We can make them any color we want, but firstly, I'm going to add a background. So we'll right click, format background, picture or texture fill, insert, stock images, and type anything we want. I'm going to type texture, pick something like this, click insert. We can select all of these, go to shape fill and pick any color from this, for example, this light blue. And now when we run it, we get that animation working with the highlight colors that work really well with the background. So remember, you can change any of these backgrounds and any of the shapes really easily. Now you've added the animation. And if you'd like to download any of the source files for my tutorials, there's a link to my Patreon in the description below. And if you want to become a PowerPoint expert, watch the next video. Thanks very much for watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.